Hi everyone. Happy Halloween. Yeah, uh, I live in a apartment building and I never get anybody at my door. I don't know. Maybe maybe I scare them off. <laughs> uh, I've been thinking of doing a video about this for quite a while on my Canadian Stub Muffin Chan. You know, sometimes I'll do I'll do a series. Uh, I'll rank a band's discography. I've done qu quite a few. David Bowie, The Beatles, Led Zeppelin, Sparks, many, many. And I always enjoy doing them. But the one series that I did, and when I think back on it, it was a little crazy to do. And I, <laughs> I know uh, at one point I was getting tired of doing it, but it's like I, I couldn't stop. You know, I had to, for my viewers, I had to finish the whole series. So what I did was I did individual videos on all of the Beatles songs, starting with I Saw Her Standing There from their first album, Please Please Me. And so every song on that album in individual videos, separate videos, yeah, I wouldn't do them every day, but, you know, I do one and then the next day I might do some other stupid video or music related video. And then the next day I'd go back and do another song. <laughs> and so it'd be kind of fun just to look back and play. I'm going to play the first video, a bit of the first video, and maybe somewhere in the middle and then the last video. And, and maybe you'll see... See, I've aged a bit. I'm not even sure. I thought it was longer than five years ago. Five years ago is when I, I did the first episode. So click here. There I am. Boy, I look a lot younger then. So this was recorded April 2nd, 218. Hi fans of high quality entertainment. I have decided to review and rank all of the Beatles songs. Now Don't this is it. just from their studio albums and uh, the past masters songs. So nothing from the anthology series or whatever. And I decide, I know uh, Love Me Do is one of the first things they recorded, but I'm gonna just start with Please Please Me, the album which started, of course, with I Saw Her Standing There. And I'm also going to give a little bit of information about each of the songs, oh, yeah. just in case so, some of you don't know. Yeah, what I would do is I'd look on, I think it was the Beatles Bible website, and i get a little information. So, you know, it wasn't just me saying what I think of the song, trying to give the viewers a little bit of uh, information about each of the songs. So... The song, I Saw Her Standing There, was mainly written by Paul McCartney. I bet you didn't know that. Originally titled Seventeen, the song was apparently conceived by McCartney while driving home from a Beatles concert as a modern take on the traditional song, As I Roved Out. I didn't even know that. A version of Seventeen Come Sunday. So, oh. Uh, a, a modern take on the traditional song as I roved out uh, a version of 17 Come Sunday that he had heard in Liverpool in 1960. Excellent opening number for their first album. And uh, one thing I've learned is the count in 1, 2, 3, 4 is from, I believe it's from take number 9. And the one that they released was the very first take of I Saw Her Standing There. So, yeah, I, uh, you know, when I started my Canadian Stump Off and Channel, I, I didn't do music-related videos. I just did a bunch of stupid videos. <laughs> but, you know, in time, uh, I started doing, talking about music. And I would get, you know, I think a lot of Beatles fans came to my channel because I would talk about the Beatles. And uh, I thank each and every one of you that have done that. So that was April. 
So look at that. It goes back to 17 years. I had older videos. I think, you know, some of the older videos I definitely deleted. I, you know, I kind of re regret it now, but that's the earliest video that I have on my channel now, free guitar lesson. And my, some videos with my ex-wife. Yeah. And I used to do food reviews, which I don't do as much now because it, I have cel celiac disease and so I have to eat gluten-free. So there's not as much uh, to choose from that way, you know, for fast food or pizza and everything. Yeah, so see, I was I was talking about the Beatles, The Cure, seven years ago. The Beatles taught. 10 psychedelic songs and sometimes i would do like a comedy thing like this one here sometimes it would it would be serious but other times it would be just a joke and so that says original so that's probably me being serious but i do another one later on and i would just have the beatles best you know like hey hey jude here comes the sun and it would i just did it for a laugh and just to show that who cares, right? It's about somebody's opinion. But of course, some some people didn't realize it was a joke and they got very upset. <laughs> yeah, I used to do all the Hungry Man videos. But I, you know, I wouldn't do them seriously. I'd add, hopefully add some laughs to them. Oh, I sure miss... Uh, Tommaso's pizza there. Lots of stupid videos. I don't do those as much anymore. And giveaway content, you know, I would give away things to my viewers. I believe it or not, I rarely look back at my old videos. <laughs> Maybe for a good reason. Well, there's uh, when I got the Beatles, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band box set. Yeah, my, my cats would be in quite a few of the videos. I think, I think I have a, maybe I don't have it anymore, but I did have a cat playlist. Yeah, I was thinking of do, redoing the colorblind test. That would be fun to redo sometime. Yeah, so there it is here. And so that's five years ago. And then, like I said, you know, I do different videos, walk through of my apartment, then more beetles. And then you would see every, well, almost every other video or two, I do a, a beetle song, A Taste of Honey. So this would go on for a long time. So that started April 2nd, 2018. And the last video I also did the past masters, you know, every Beatles song that was, uh, recorded, uh, you know, for the, their studio albums and, uh, the B A sides and B sides getting near the end. So yeah, by, like I said, by, I wouldn't say by the end, but near the end i was like oh <laughs> it's never gonna end but you know then i got my energy back up i you know when it was getting near the end and so this was the last one for of course the end i included uh, her majesty which is so this was recorded 
March 11th, 2019. So almost one full year that this series uh, took. Almost one year. Hi fans of High Quality Entertainment. It's the end. Thank God. Of this series. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. So here we go. Now, as I've stated in the previous video or two, I am including Her Majesty in this song. In fact, maybe I'll talk about Her Majesty or, or saying what series are you going to rank, what band or artist are you going to rank next? And I don't know. I'm going to take a break from it and, you know, I'll still do the occasional Beatles video or solo Beatles video, but I want to, you know, talk about other bands because I do like other bands yeah. <laughs> than the Beatles, believe it or not. And so that's it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Boy. I don't know how I did that. Yeah. So, like I said, that was a lot of work. And I enjoyed it and I didn't enjoy it. <laughs> and, but, you know, I, I just, you know, once in a while it hits me that it's like, that was crazy to do like do individual song. Yeah. And I would rank them. And so by the end of that video, I don't know if it shows. Yeah. But, but I, I would, I was also ranking all of the songs. So it was a lot of work. And I think I had it on Spotify. I don't have it anymore, but in the, the order from my least favorite to my, my favorite Beatles song. And, uh, yeah. So if you're ever bored uh, and you're interested in different bands, because, you know, I've, I've talked about a lot of different bands on my Canadian Stuff Often channel, and there's a search button, in case you don't know, for any channel. Right there, you just click there and say, uh, Blue Oyster Cult. Because I did it, you know, I've done videos on Blue Easter Cult and Top Ten Songs and I also reviewed and ranked all of their albums. And I even had, I got a cameo from Eric Bloom, the singer and guitarist for Blue Easter Cult. So he was at the start of all of the videos. Bye. Hi, fans of High Quality Entertainment. This is Eric Bloom, and uh, this is for you, Larry Graves, on the Canadian Stud Muffin YouTube channel, and everyone out there listening in Cyberland. Uh, Eric Bloom of Blue Oyster Cult here. Listen, uh, new Blue Oyster Cult music. We got two singles out already off our new album, The Symbol Remains. If this is running before October 9th, there's only two cuts uh, that you can hear, but there's more coming. If it's after October 9th, the new album is released now already. It's 14 tracks. So The Simple Remains, new album. First one in 20 years. So uh, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. And um, thanks for being a BOC fan if you are. And if you're new to our stuff, well, where have you been for uh, 50 freaking years? <laughs> Larry Graves, thanks very much. And uh, thank you, everybody. Um, hope you all uh, dig our new stuff. Bye-bye. Yeah, I... You know, I wanted him to have a little interest in doing the cameo, even though, you know, you're paying for it. So I said, just, you know, do my intro, high fans of high quality entertainment and, you know, promote your new album that's coming out, you know, I'm happy to do that for him. So, you know, he had a bit of an interest in doing it and I've seen other of his cameos. He's very good. So re real good guy. And that is it. Uh, yeah, just wanted to show you. One of the craziest series I ever did, and I'll never do again. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.